people often make the assumption when they hear that I had hippie parents, you know, that that means that I grew up on a commune or something like that, and that's not the case. My parents were missionaries. I was born outside of Toronto. In terms of, like, what I was taught, there's definitely a strong 60s idealism that I'm really grateful for. I was scouted at a Cure concert. Model Scout approached me there and asked me if I modeled, and I thought that was ludicrous. When I started coming to do shows in New York, New York had a pretty electric energy then. It was the early 90s, and there was a lot of really fun theatrical types that were designing, and so the runway kind of became this stage for all of these mega model personalities to flaunt their stuff. I had no relationship to the fashion world whatsoever. I'd never even seen a fashion magazine. I grew up without a television and just really wasn't very connected to pop culture in that way. It was like Alice in Wonderland. I mean, I had no reference point for anything and I was suddenly in Paris on catwalks for designers that I could barely even pronounce their names. <laughs> we would all watch on the monitor while so-and-so was out there doing her thing. And we'd be screaming and clapping. It was about personality then, and it was about what you did at the end of the runway. <laughs> and then sometimes it would be about one-upping each other, you know, like, whoa, so-and-so just like, did she see that? Oh yeah, well, here I go. This idea of returning to the catwalk is, um... <laughs> I do feel some nerves, and I do feel the height of those shoes. <laughs> I hope I don't slip, was the next thought. On the runway, how does that feel now? Does it feel any different? Does it feel the same? I'm curious to examine that. Generally speaking, I think there's a lot projected on beautiful women, period. At least, maybe this is just my fear, but I do sometimes feel like dismissed before I've even been allowed to participate. I have moments of feeling really wounded, but I am pretty optimistic. And I do enjoy a lot of my life, and I'm, I'm peaceful inside.